Hello everybody. Okay, so here it is. Uh, finally, my Simon Says Stamp card kit of the month for the month of December arrived. Um, I had to send them an email because I was wondering, like, it's taking a long time. And um, they, it looks like they only mail or send shipments on certain days. So mine just made it to the cutoff on the 29th. So, um, the, you know, they mailed it out at the end of the month. And it took, you know, a couple weeks for it to get here. I was actually a little worried um, and was thinking about checking in with them again yesterday to see if they could track it. Because, you know, now sometimes they say there's a lot of um, people that take packages from your house. And I was just a little worried about that. But um, I'm glad that it came in. It came in yesterday, but it was, you know, we were so busy. We had so many things going on. I didn't have time to um, open it. Well, yeah, I didn't, I mean... I wanted to open it and make a video, so I didn't want to peek. And everybody's already seen the um, the car kit and knows, you know, what the car kit looks like. But um, I thought I'd do a uh, open up and you know, just kind of a quick walkthrough of what the car kit looks like or what it's included. So you get two of these sheets of stickers, and I just love this little deer. Um, I've seen it on a lot of different um, pattern paper and things, so I just think they're really cute. The little red truck, my favorite. Now with the car kit, you get a couple of little uh, watercolor paints, so you could use for these cards. And these are already printed, ready to go, and um, these are on watercolor paper. Um, I guess I could read what kind of watercolor paper it is, right? So, um, you know, here's a little bit of inspiration for you to get um, watercolor note cards in Daniel Smith. So they're by Susie Plantamura. So that's what they are. So you get the two sheets of paper. And you get actually three. You get a red... A red, a white, and a green. Now this white one is a little thinner, so I wonder if it's um what type of paper it is. Uh Simon says stamp cars took lipstick red, green leaf, and one sheet of Nina white. So this is Nina. This has got to be the 80 pound, I believe. It's it's a little bit thinner. But the Simon says stamp, I haven't bought any of their paper, but with the car kits, you know what I have been getting, I really like the feel of it. It's pretty thick. Um I think it might be 110 or if it's 80 it is really really nice feel some of them have a little bit of a texture so um this red one you can feel it you really can't see it on the camera but it has this little bit of a texture that i really like so this was the two watercolor cards that you get the watercolor and this is daniel smith colors and then you get three envelopes so you get the teal um this is like an uh, pearl color and then a red one and they're shimmery very nice and I think these are also the Simon Says brand um instead of a lollipop they send they sent a candy cane my candy cane broke looks like but it's okay I can still eat that so now you get a full size um, ink pad of Distress Oxide Festive Berries which I don't have this one I don't I only have a few of the Distress Oxide so that it's really neat get a little tag get a pack of sequins and these are in like a teal green and then you get the two dies so that you get the little candy canes and the little bow you get a single thread on paper and I think they might have just divided it into you know for different people or one full pack they must have broken it into pieces but you get um a few sheets here and there's different patterns very nice i was just uh commenting on a video that i made before that i sometimes don't know what to do with pattern paper um they're just so pretty and i either you know like it too much that i don't want to use it or you know don't don't know what to do with it but this is so pretty i like the santa the old old style santa little red truck and then you have a couple of little scenes here that is so so pretty 
And here you get it. It's funny. Um, I remember I saw the video, the car kid, when uh, Vicky um, showed it on her uh, her channel. And I just kind of, you know, quickly glanced at it. I didn't really go through the whole thing. So some of these things, I'm like, oh, it included that. Because I haven't even seen any other videos right now. It's just been so busy. Um, but I haven't seen any others that, you know, of inspiration of what people made with this card kit. Um, I know that I'm pretty done, you know, making all my Christmas cards. So this is a little late for me. But I'll, you know, find something to do. And I can always use it next year um, for that purpose so you get three of these car bases and they're already scored um and they're ready for you and then you also get your stamp set and this is again a six by eight stamp set um it is very pretty i like the little santa and the little north pole it is very neat so um you know i'll have to work on making some things with this and um if not i'll save it till next year and you know because it I mean, Christmas, for me, it's like, oh, it's already next week. But it's a couple of weeks ago away, which might as well be, right? But anyway, this is the look at the Simon Says Car Kit of the Month for the month of December. Um, it is so pretty, so I'm excited about I love watercoloring, so, and I love the deers. I'm excited about coloring this once and, you know, making some cards or making some layouts so I can share with people. But, um, and then this is... Um, these are actually stickers. I thought you were supposed to get like stickers that they were like thick chipboard like, but they're just like regular stickers. They're a little thicker than normal, but they're pretty neat. I mean, tons of stuff that you can make and do with this one. So I will be making um, some cards or some projects with using these items. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so it took me a good minute or a good while to get this voiceover done. Um, I've had this video filmed for I think over a week now, but um, I've just seen it's been so busy and I haven't had a chance to get this voiceover done and the few times that I tried I you know, kept getting interrupted um, or I would have my kids screaming in the background, so I had to find time to do that. So for these car kits, since I am very, very late um, posting the you know, posting it, um, I decided not to do a 10 um, cards, one kit video. I am going to be making some cards, but, um, or other projects, but not until later on. Um, but for now, I decided to use the card kit to, uh, finish up with, uh, my Christmas projects that I have going on. And for these, what I am doing is I am creating some rosettes. And that's because I am planning to use them for a, um, ornament. And, um, so I decided to do those rosettes. So now I think that you guys have already seen or you know how to make rosettes. I am making the basic, basic ones. I don't know if there's any more complicated ones. But it's just basically cutting your sheet of paper and then scoring it. Um, so with these ones, what I did, I cut them at one and three quarters. And I scored at every half inch. And then I started folding everything according to... Um, style so it's just going back and forth and from the one sheet of paper i got um three and i am just going to connect all of them um i wanted them to be large enough so that i could make the ornament or use them for the ornament and just got to kind of be like a layout for it so um you know this was the size was perfect so i was using that and now to glue the pieces together i use my simon says stamp glue um, which is actually a glue that i have been reaching for a lot lately it is very um you know i have it handy i like that you could use the little um the little tip um you know it's pretty easy to put it through um so you know it just it just works and it is pretty tacky it holds very well so i like how it's working and um here you see so i did a few of these ones and I wanted to make um, an ornament to give to each one of the, our grandparents. So I have my parents, my husband's parents, and then I have, um, you know, their parents and, you know, different families. But I wanted to give one to everybody. And so for these, since the um, rosettes were going to be a little bit smaller, I wanted them to be a little larger. I used this scallop um, circle punch to make it a little bit bigger. And the way that that um, helped is because, um, you know, once you glue it, 
I'm using my hot glue gun. You can see in the center I left that little space that kind of gives you that extra room for the rosette. And I think it ended up being about a four inch um, diameter rosette, which is a pretty good size. But uh, normally I would just put, uh, you know, a drop of glue in the center and then hold it together until it dries. But in this case, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, so I did not do that. But anyway, um, this little scallop punch worked out perfectly for it. Um, and, you know, it's not too big and it was great to just um, put it in there and hold it. So, um, yes, like I said, I've been kind of going back and forth trying to finish up and getting ready. We are going to be having some family over for the weekend or, you know, for the holidays, which we're very excited about. But um, I always tend to overwork myself and try to do too much or, you know, too many things uh, sometimes in the last minute. But, you know, that's just such is life, right? So here, um, I decided to make a couple of more, and I found another uh, piece of the pattern paper, and this one reminded me of candy canes. Um, for this one, I um, used some of the stickers that were included in the car kit, and because I did not want the sticky part to be, you know, just out there, I used my powder tool to kind of um, put it all over to make sure that, you know, things wouldn't get um, stuck to the, st uh, to the sticker behind the portions where it didn't stick to the uh, rosette and um, you know they were pretty simple easy ornaments um, so then these ones as you can see I did the actual little rosettes and for these ones I cut the my paper strips to one uh, one and a half and I ended up with uh, four strips which made the two rosettes from one sheet of paper which is pretty good you know and they're pretty good size so um, that's pretty good, but because um, the other ones I was using an ornament, I wanted them to be a little bit larger. Now, to um, I decided to stamp a sentiment, and that says Merry Christmas, and that's from the same um, the stamp set that comes with the kit. Um, I decided to stamp it with the Festive Berries Distress Oxide, which is a very beautiful ink. Um, I did not have it. Uh, slowly, I am adding or getting you know more of the Distress ink pads. Which, you know, this car kit's kind of is helping. But, uh, but yeah, I don't have that many of those. I did pull out the tumble glass and use one of those little snowflakes to also stamp around to kind of make it look a little bit more wintry. And stamped it. Um, what I did end up, end up doing at the bottom under the Christmas, I wrote 2018. So that way, um, you know, I can have for every ornament that I'm making every year. So that way you can see what they are. And I think I've made some ornaments before, but I'm not sure. That was way before I started doing videos or anything. But, um, you know, I, would, I wouldn't keep a record of the things that I was making. But anyway, these were fun and easy to make. And you can see um, here how they all turned out. Now, I did not put the ornaments yet because I needed to go pick up the pictures to cut them out. And I turned those into like snow gloves, which um, were a lot of fun. Now here I also, for my second project, I wanted to make a um, a bookmark. And so for this one, I actually was going to make a few of them and decided to do the use it on watercolor paper. Now a little uh, tip or trick that I have for stamping using my um, stamping platform is putting a piece of uh, piece of strip uh, paper and I actually have one that I already have set up but um, I didn't have it nearby so I ended up just grabbing the the little end of the paper pad that I used last and putting it there so that way it can give that extra room for my stamp you know to fit and that way it doesn't go right at the edge since it was watercolor paper I stamped it a, a two or three times depending you know how the image was coming but they came out good and then I also decided to use the water the watercolor uh, dots that were included in the car kit and these are Daniel Smith um, watercolors which are really really nice watercolors to use um, I don't really have a lot of them but I like the dot samples that I have gotten from Daniel Smith so I am really thinking about getting a um, set of those though so, I was, you know, I kind of had put a, um, a little message on Instagram asking what watercolors do people recommend for, you know, for us to use. And I know mostly I am making cards, so it would be considered a card maker. But, you know, every now and then I like to just make little uh, watercolor images or paintings that I can hang up 
um, you know, they're not large, but they still a good size to hang up. And I was told that maybe starting with the starter set from water, uh, from Daniel Smith will be good. So um, I think I that that's what I'll be getting. But um, I've also seen that a lot of people use those koi or or the uh, shin shin han gansai tambi. So I I'm, I'm not sure yet. So I'm still kind of doing a little bit of research to see what I want to get if I want to get colors that I need that I can mix or colors that are already mixed for me and I could just you know grab and go. But anyway, I am doing some very, very simple watercoloring here, trying to see um, on the shades. And when I thought that I was getting a little bit darker, I just grab a paper towel and dab the color out while it's still, still wet. Um, and then, you know, just kind of try to take it all out. Now, I used a little bit of that red uh, festive berries uh, ink and I just smushed it onto my uh, mat. So that way I could, you know, grab it with my brush and color the red um, for this candy cane looking like pull. So that was very simple, just grabbing the color and going. Um, I am leaving a little bit lighter on some edges and making it darker on one side to kind of give it a little bit of um, shading and dimension. That is very simple, like I said. Um, I try to not go too fancy with um, things, especially when I'm trying to make something quick. But again, um, when I am working on multiple things, I like to um, go around and do everything at once. So, for example, here I'm just doing all the little arrows and then we'll move on to the next. Um, it just kind of seems to be a little bit, go to go a little bit faster and easier. Um, that way, so I like, I like doing that definitely. Um, you know, trying to use the, the colors at the same time and doing everything on one and then the next. So anyway, um, you know, this was a lot of fun. I know that I still have a lot of, uh, you know, leftover supplies after I did this project, but, uh, you know, I'll be getting around to using them at some point. Um, anyway, so what are you guys doing for the, for the holidays? You know, I wonder, do you guys have family over or do you go to see other family? Um, you know, it's usually kind of interesting of all, all the things that people do. Um, a lot of the times, you know, people do travel and in my case, you know, it is going to be awesome that we're having family coming over, but then also it is kind of sad because it is our first year that we are away from family. You know, we kind of had a, a little tradition or thing that we did that, um, we would get together with my parents and my brother and, you know, with their, with their kids and, um, you know, this year it's not going to happen. So is you know, a little bit kind of bittersweet that we are not going to be seeing them. But, you know, they're always in our hearts. We'll be, you know, making phone calls and all. Another thing is that little tradition that, um, you know, I had started a few years back. Um, making a little chocolate train for the kids um, out of, you know, kind of like a cupcake train and setting it up and um you know the kids that's something that they would always look forward to eating you know after they had their christmas dinner and you know everybody was choosing who wanted to get the front or who wanted to be the conductor of the train but you know it's a lot of fun so it's a little you know bittersweet because once i started thinking about it um it kind of hit me you know i'm not going to be able to see my nieces and my nephews this year so it's a little sad but you know, I'll get to see them um, in a couple of months, you know, but we'll do that. So then I also, for um, going back to my um, bookmarks, I used one of the little snow stamp and I used the same um, the ink distress ink that I had and I used it to just kind of put it all around to look like snow. Um, I also pulled out my jelly roll pen, um, the white one, to just put a few highlights here and there. And I also use my glitter dust. Um, now for that one, I just put it all around the signs and the top of the candy cane pole to kind of give it a little bit of glittery um, color, you know, to make it look like the snow is all shimmery um, on top of it. And, you know, I think I thought that it would look very pretty. Um, you can't really see it on camera, but in real life, it looks very pretty. Now for the sentiments, um, there is a sentiment included on on this card kit that says uh this way to the north pole but i did not want to include that one um uh, here because you know i i wasn't sure exactly what i was gonna do but i wanted to put like uh, a christmas sentiment so 
I decided to use these, um, this other one and I'm just trying to put it all together onto my stamping platform so that way I can, um, you know, stamp it in the center and make sure that it goes this way. Um, and same on everybody and everywhere, but I just went in with a wishing you a Merry Christmas and, you know, very quickly, um, stamp it on all of the tags and now this one i kind of measure at the bottom so the the stamping platform has a little ruler on the bottom so for this one i didn't need to use a bigger um strip or anything that kind of held it um because you know i could measure it at the bottom and this is what my little tags look like um i thought they came really really adorable now for my third and final project i decided to go ahead and make a card um, now, the card kit was included with this really cute, adorable candy cane die, and I had really, I just had to use it. So, I decided um, to cut it up um, with both red and white, and then I paper pieced it so that way, um, you know, I could get the alternating color. So, I ended up um, getting a few of those. But what I did, um, what, excuse me, what I did with this, I, um, I wanted the, the candy case to kind of um, twirl around and I used some of that really clear um, thread to, you know, to wrap it around and I just doubled the, the candy canes, put them on both ends and I grabbed this, um, you know, this die that kind of cut the oval to make him go through it and I just, you know, it was already looking really good but um, I decided that, you know, I thought I should have put that on the outside but... Um, I didn't want the white just to be on the outside, but then the blue just kind of look all plain. So I decided to um, look for a different piece of pattern paper to put on the outside. And I went with this, um, with the Santa one that has all the, the Santa and the reindeer with the sleigh going around. So I cut that and, you know, cut it to the same and then just glue it onto the outside portion of the card. And I think that just kind of made the red pop a little bit more and also the white from the candy canes so I you know I think it came out nicely um so I just layered the white part from the inside um panel that I put on layered it onto the inside put in a little Christmas sentiment and that was it so here you can see all the projects that I created um again this was just a few and I only used a minimal uh, amount of supplies you can see there what the ornament is going to be looking like but um, I did not use that many of the supplies. I did manage to make, uh, you know, a few projects and um, things that I am going to be using. But I, I just love those little candy canes, how they, like, twirl. It's just so cute. But uh, but anyway, um, this is barely touching the, you know, the supplies of my car kit. Um, I have, obviously, my stamp... Um, stamp set the stamp pad the watercolors and then i have these two beautiful um cards that i can make a tag still tons of uh, pattern paper to use and you know from the regular paper that was in the card kit so it's basically i still have the whole card kit to use um so well anyway thank you for stopping by and if i make any other projects before you know christmas is here i'll be sure to post them but i may not be doing much um for right now until the holiday is over but anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.